It's hard to overcome one's own substance abuse issues, especially if no one is there to lend a helping hand. Luckily, here on Guam, there is one place to go to seek the help you need, and that's the Lighthouse Recovery Center. Joey J. Tedpahago is a peer navigator for the Recovery Center, but before being a part of the team, he shared he was once a client at the LRC. In 2016, I caught a possession charge with the local government. Um, I was under probation for four years. Uh, decided within those four years uh, that uh, it's about time I do something to change my life and to get Pat back on the road to uh, living a clean and sober life. So I decided to stay in jail for a year and a half. After a year and a half, I got released from DOC and got released to the LRC. Uh, did an uh, eight month uh, treatment uh, with the LRC, graduated from there. Uh, volunteered with the, uh, the LRC actually for five months and became a certified peer. And since returning to the recovery center, Ted Pahago now helps others who suffer from the same substance abuse issues he did years ago. We share the same very similar uh, lifestyles. Um, I've been where they've been. And a lot of them that come in here, um, they have a doubt, a little bit of a doubt when they come in here and, and, and how this, uh, um, how treatment works. And along when they come into detox, that's when it all starts, is when they go into detox. Um, we are assigned to go there and give them a, a, you know, a little bit of a word of encouragement. And um, within those 7 to 14 days they're in our detox program, they change their mind. You know, they have a lot of time to think. And with us um, helping through that, it, we see a lot of progress after that. Captain Hector Acosta of the Salvation Army, which runs the LRC, also put in a word about why Recovery Month is so important. The big deal about recovery is that it's like the first step in living a life that is um, thriving, right? So recovery is just the first step in there. And so people have maybe a huge disadvantage if they're just wrestling with that one piece, which includes it can introduce mental health and all sorts of other obstacles that then lead to things like homelessness and poverty and all sorts of you know family brokenness. So this is kind of the foundational piece for somebody living a healthy, full life. The Lighthouse Recovery Center will host an open house on September 15th that will allow members of the public to see where clients receive treatment and to know how treatment is done. Daniel Perez reporting for KUAM News.